Hello viewers, welcome to Lumo TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'm um, your tutor, Philari Street. Today we're going to look at English from 1, lesson 17. Our topic will be on grammar and the subtopic we're going to look at prepositions. And so I expect you as a learner by the end of the lesson, you should be able to define a preposition, like answer to a question, what is a preposition, and use preposition correctly in sentences. We'll begin our lesson by defining what is a preposition, and we can say the following. A preposition is a group of words used before a noun, a pronoun, to show place, time, direction, position, or method. Preposition are some of the shortest words in English, and we say so because they tend to have words such as to, on, from, over, above. Those are short words in English. If we look at the preposition of direction, as posted in the above picture, we went to London last week. To shows direction. The hikers walked up the hill. Up. It shows where the hikers are walking up to the hill. He put the money into his pocket. In and into are the preposition. It shows or answers the question where. The cat jumped over the wall. The word over. And you can also see the arrow pointing over. Uh, the cat crawled under the fence. Under is our preposition showing where the cat crawled uh, they drove through the tunnel through the tunnel we can see as pointed by the arrow uh, another one he lives in Canada but he's also from New York from is a preposition of direction the ball rolled down the hill down is a preposition of direction she got out of the car and walked to the house out and out of is a preposition of direction as pointed by the arrow. They walked around the other side of the church. We can see the arrow pointing round. Uh, the plane flew over, over London. Over is a preposition of direction showing where the plane flew over. Uh, you must not go across this road here. So we can see across which is our preposition of direction. We can also have them, which is clearly shown in the pictures, under. That means it's below, between, out, and so close to, or next to. We have in and inside, above, behind, on, in front of. Those are the prepositions. Uh, we also have prepositions of time, that is at, in, and on. When we use at, it is used for pre precise times, at 10.30, at 8 o'clock, at bedtime, at breakfast. It shows a pre precise time, or a fixed time. In is used for months, years, decades, centuries, and long periods of time. In 16 years' time, as an example, in 1991, in December, on is also used for days and dates, on a summer evening, on Christmas Day, on Christmas, or on Friday. Uh, we can see behind, under, on, same pictures near, at home, at school. Those are the preposition of place. On, under, behind, near, in front of, next to, at work, at home. Prepositions of manner. We have the words such as with, for, of, by, like, as, in, on. For instance, the word with is used for accompaniment. I went with my husband. The word for is used for purpose of reasoning. I made a blog for writing of, for association. I want a piece of the pie. You can read through the rest. For... Because we've had the lesson, you can try an assignment, you fill in the blank with an appropriate preposition. A good parent provides dash his children. Try to find out the correct preposition that suits the sentence. 
If you want to look up to more on our preposition, you can refer them to Excelling in English Students Book 1, third edition, published by the Kenya Literature Bureau. You can also reach to us for the more for more of this information through our SMS line as posted YouTube at Elimu TV, Facebook at Elimu TV and on Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you very much for the lesson. Till next time.